This is our life mix lab. And what we're going to be testing for is different compounds and the presence or absence of those compounds in our solution. So we're going to be utilizing some different testing material. We're going to be utilizing glucose test strips. I know it's kind of blurry right now. Um, try to get it within focal distance here. These are glucose test strips. Right, they change color. If there's glucose present, we're going to utilize iodine. Lugol's iodine is perfectly fine. We're going to utilize silver nitrate, AgNO3, which will test for the presence or absence of salt. And then we will also use, finally, biuret solution uh, to test for anything else. So let me get started here. Right. So I'm going to look here. So here are my well plate. I know it's kind of hard to see. Kind of in the, within a shadow, it does a little bit better. Um, let's see if I can extend this out. So um, this first column right here, these these wells are all filled with my life mix. This middle section is filled with my unknown A. This is unknown B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and test these really quickly. Now, starting with iodine, iodine tests for the presence of starch. So I'm testing for the presence of starch here. The iodine is initially like it's light brownish color, but if it reacts with starch, which it should in the uh, life mix, it'll turn to a black color. So it turns from a light blue to a blue black, or light brown to a blue black color. Biorette solution tests for the presence of proteins. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put this in here. It goes from a light blue color to like a light purplish color. So when I put a couple drops in here, you can see it's actually starting to change color. And the best way I actually compare is to fill a well with just biorette so you can then compare the two different colors. The test strips, glucose test strips here. What we are looking for is a color change. Now it's kind of hard to see on this, but the glucose test strip is a beige color. I'm trying to find where, where you, you can see it best. See, it's kind of got that like yellowish cream color. Uh, when I react it with this solution here, just let it react with it, and it's going to sit for a little bit. And if it starts to change any color at all from that cream color, that will test, tell us that it's positive for glucose. And this last one, which is going to probably be the hardest to see on here, is the silver nitrate. Silver nitrate uh, tests for the presence of salt. Right. So what I'm going to do now is I I'm going to put a couple drops in here, and what we should see is if it's positive, a change in the uh, clarity of this. So it should be like a clear solution now, and if I put the drops in, it turns to a cloudy white, which is going to be really hard to see on the camera here, but let's take a look now. So we go over these. I don't know what the best distance to be at is, but all of these have tested positive. So here's our starch, which is now blue black, you can see the purplish color of the biorets when we compare it to the light blue, just empty well of it. This one I can promise you is full of a white cloudy solution. And then our glucose test strip, it doesn't look like it's changed much, but it actually has changed. And I could pull up a secondary one to show you that you can see it's kind of hard to see on this color um, with this camera, but it is definitely a, why is I'm trying to get some shadows here, but it has changed color. So let me go and continue doing this now for my unknowns, and then I'll be able to fill in my data table so that you guys at home will be able to test or have it. So unknown A I'm working on right now. Unknown A for silver nitrate is positive. So it is positive for salt, so you can kind of see that cloudy solution in there compared to the other ones. Right. Let's see Biorette solution. And then Lugol's iodine. So this one, the results of unknown A for iodine, it is negative. For the Biorettes, it is negative. For the silver nitrate, it is positive, and for the glucose test strip, it is negative. Okay, going to the third or unknown B. 
I'm going to unknown B really quick. Let me test this, get the glucose test strip in there. Let it sit for a second. And let's go and do the other test now. So silver nitrate. Negative for silver nitrate. Biorette solution. Got some of the fluid at the bottom there. I don't necessarily want that stuff. But it is turning a purple color there. And Lugol's iodine. All right. So let's go over unknown B really quick here. Unknown B is negative for iodine. It is positive for biorets or protein. It is negative for... Uh, salt and it is negative on the glucose test strip. And if we go back to this glucose test strip again, remember it was hard to compare them earlier, but now you're starting to see what a positive test looks like. Positive is kind of turning this greenish color versus a negative test, which is this one, which is staying yellow. So far, so good. I'm going to go take a break. I'm going to go clean this all out and I'm going to fill up with my other three unknowns. And I'm back. All right, so now we have unknown C, unknown D, unknown E. So we have our final three uh, tests. So let me go and start doing that. I'm gonna start with the glucose test strips for all three. Now I'll just line them up at the bottom. I know it's kind of hard to see. It's just because the room's so bright. Boom. One. One. This one did you use for this one? Yeah, so we used uh, two. Uh, B. I was on the. All right. So there's our three test strips. They're all running. They're all. Yeah, you know, I'll take a look at them later, but you can see they're kind of cream colored right now. Let's go to the Lugol's iodine. So we're going to test the iodine right now. I'm going to go in the top well here. Okay. So you got one positive test there. You can see the other two are negative. So the Lugol's iodine, C is negative, D is negative, E is positive. Right. For biuret solution. So let's take the biuret solution. Again, we're testing for protein with biuret solution. So let me get some of this full. So I'll fill one, two, three. Okay, I got biorets in all three. And if we go across here, C is negative, D is negative, E is negative. All three of them are negative for protein. Now we are going to go through with the silver nitrate, AgNO3. Almost got that last drop in there. All right. So as I go across for a silver nitrate, they're all negative, negative, negative. All right. Now when I go back to revisiting my uh, glucose test strips, what do I have here? C has turned up positive. All right. So C is positive. And it also looks like E is also positive. But you can see... If we look down here, again, all three of ours, um, C, D, E, C is positive, D is negative, E is positive. So make sure you get that data into your data table, and then we will be good to analyze it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on putting this data in the data table, and then you guys will be able to um, access that and have uh, all the information you need. All right, so thanks for checking it out, and hopefully... You guys will be able to write up all of your information based off of this. So have a great day.